On June 16, 1963, Valentina Vladimirovna Tereshkova, the first woman cosmonaut took the flight on a Vostok 6 spacecraft. Valentina Tereshkova was born to a peasant family in Maslenikovo, Russia, on March 6, 1937. During her early years, she received little in the way of formal education, and she went to work in a textile factory at just 18. Tereshkova's life changed course when she was 22 and made her first parachute jump with a local aviation club. Her passion for skydiving brought her to the attention of the Soviet space program. In April 1961, the program launched Yuri Gagarin, the first human in space, and Soviet chief designer, Sergei Korolyov was keen to follow this by flying the first woman to space. On February 16, 1962, five women were selected from 400 applicants to join the cosmonaut corps, which included Valentina Tereshkova. The group then spent several months training for space flight, including exposure to near weightlessness, isolation tests, and centrifugal testing. They also underwent pilot training in jet aircraft and made 120 parachute jumps. At the time, cosmonauts had to parachute from their capsules seconds before they hit the ground on returning to Earth. This was considered one of the most challenging aspects of the Vostok series of missions. It was believed that Tereshkova's experience skydiving would be favorable for this element of the mission. In March 1963, it was decided that male cosmonaut Valery Baikovsky would fly Vostok 5, a separate spacecraft, but part of the same dual flight mission as the Vostok 6 capsule, would be crewed by Tereshkova. Her radio call sign on the mission would be Chaika or Seagull. During the flight of Vostok 6, Tereshkova would also communicate with Soviet leader Nikita Khrushchev by radio, and her image was televised and broadcast across the Soviet Union. She actually solved the first big problem in her flight. On the first day, the ship's autopilot mistakenly steered her away from Earth, leaving her facing the prospect of being lost in space. It was programmed to raise the orbit, she told reporters. I put the new data in and it worked fine. The first female cosmonaut captured images of Earth, some of which would later be used to identify aerosol layers in our planet's atmosphere. The Vostok 6 mission lasted 71 hours and 12 minutes, just 48 minutes short of three days. At the time, that was longer than the combined flight time of every US Mercury astronaut. During those three days in space, Tereshkova made 48 orbits of Earth. Tereshkova used manual controls to hold Vostok steady, while firing the rocket engine to drop out of orbit. During re-entry, also on autopilot, there was no communication between her ship and the ground, and she ended up landing in an unexpected place. She said there had been a communications equipment failure, but the team on the ground blamed her for going silent. After re-entry through the Earth's atmosphere, she ejected from the falling spacecraft and descended using her own parachute. She asked that the engineer who so nearly cost her her life not be punished, and was asked in return never to reveal the truth and never spoke of it for 30 years. The story of Valentina Tereshkova remains a beacon of hope, reminding us that no dream is too high to reach, and the sky is not the limit.